I'm Christina Tobin. I'm the founder of the Free and Equal Elections Foundation, and you're listening to the Free and Equal Network right now. I've got Professor Griff, a.k.a. Kavan, um, here in Denver today. We're about to go on stage and moderate the Open Colorado debate at Infinity Park. Um, Kavan, it's been awesome getting to know you for the last year on the phone, okay. but now I actually see you in person. And I'm, I'm tall, just like I told you I was. Yeah. And you're and you're <laughs> and you're kind. Thank you. And you're honest, and you have integrity and accountability. And you're here. This movement is called because we resonate and connect. Because compromising is not an option. We stick to our heart, our soul, and for the pureness of things. And so the whole debate is about um, opening up the debates, right? And electoral reform, um, igniting a movement for maybe independence, not necessarily the party system to to run for office. Um, can you give us a feeling of why you're part of the debate and what you think about free? And elections and, and really everything that we're about. Thank you for being here. Okay, I think it's it's imperative that if we're going to have free and equal a free and equal mindset. I think the professor Griffiths should be invited to the table. What do y'all think? Absolutely. Thank you. I think I represent a mindset, a feeling, a vibration, a crew, a set of people, uh, a mindset. Um, because as I often say, I'm um, like minds, like mine. And uh, there are definitely a lot of like minds out there that try to understand uh, the, de the Democrats and the Republicans, that try to understand the Electoral College, which I ask people all the time. And matter of fact, why don't I just ask everybody right here, how many people know someone in the Electoral College? That know someone that's what? It's in the Electoral College. No. <laughs> see, this is, see, this is what I'm talking about. So if the Electoral College elects the president, mm -hmm. then how come we're not educated and um, about the Electoral College. Mm -hmm. These delegates and these people that that's supposed to uh, take these particular basket full of votes to the table to represent the masses of the people, which to me is just a scam. Mm -hmm. I've said it often and I've caught, caught flack from the elders in the community. So I think I'm here to represent that mindset and all that mindset um, wants to want to know is just give us some answers to the questions that we ask and stop treating us like some insignificant nude agenda thanks um awesome and uh, i know a lot of media has been kind of like whoa a musician the musician's moderating this debate wow that's cool you know griff he's an intellectual um what's your uh, feeling on uh, musicians being a part of uh, stuff like opening debates it hasn't happened before and of course i totally support it um what would be your feedback on that from media Wow, media, mm -hmm. multi-ethnic destruction in America. <laughs> hmm, would question someone that's creative, would question that someone that has no boundaries and no borders. When I sit down at the piano or the drum set or, the, or pick up the guitar, someone that takes a pen to the pad and expresses themselves freely and open and uh, with no limitations would question someone like me and why would I want to be a part of a political process that will ultimately affect me stop the bullshit here. <laughs> <laughs> hey wow. let's, we're gonna have to bleep that part out for all the kids out there oh, thank you yeah I will bleep that out um, you know finally on <laughs> Yeah, and, and finally, you know, on electoral reform, you did touch the topics of voting methods. Um, we're going to be holding a conference here next month, Free and Equal, um, with experts within the state and nationally addressing issues like gerrymandering, the Electoral College, instant runoff voting, proportional representation, those sort of things. Mm -hmm. um, do you support uh, the idea of independent candidates taking our government back? W what I mean is a movement outside of the two-party system of independent candidates rising. And at Free and Equal Elections, we're going to give them the tools to help give them a chance to win and learn how to get elected for office is very empowering um, in any case uh, do you see yourself as an independent and uh, do you feel uh, that uh, you'll be in a position to be able to inspire more people to run for office as independents maybe well, you would run yourself well let me put it this way I'm not trying to be a part of the system in order to change the system and there's three things I want to lay out a I am because we are therefore I am number two if you will fly and you get caught in a spider's web, that's not the time to negotiate with the spider. <laughs> Are you following me? So this whole idea of being a part of a system that doesn't work, why would I do that? That's foolish. I think I misspoke. Being part of something outside of the two-party system. 
the two-party system doesn't work. Parties don't work. I'm okay, I understand. No, I'm, 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 I'm not going to vote. I'd rather encourage other people that want to participate in this particular system, encourage them and educate them on the process. What they do at that point behind the black curtain is on them. If it's something similar to what that corny little fat chubby dude was doing on the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain, then we got an issue. But I'm saying, how do you fix in a system from within that we claim that was broken? I say it wasn't broken, it was designed this way. So it's impossible to fix. I agree with you on that. Dr. Ron Paul is a prime example of uh, when you try to fix the system from within, the two-party system would rather crash the party than let somebody else take over. I'd rather destroy the entire thing than to let someone come in and change it to the point where it will benefit us all. Absolutely. We're on the same page there for sure. Um, I have to ask one more question. Uh, the Republican and Democrat aren't a part of the debate tonight, and we know uh, for the presidential debates, the Commission on Presidential Debates, according to Legal Women Voters of the U.S., has perpetuated a fraud on the American voters since the late 80s. Um, they actually removed themselves from the Commission on Presidential Debates. So with Free and Equal, we did the debate in 2012, moderated by Larry King and myself. Um, how vital, how important do you think open debates are for our nation? And also, um, uh, you know, the, the DNR not being a part of this, what do you think that means of not being a part of this debate? And that's all. Well, the pro even the process on and how this debate is being structured and set up um, and the beautiful work that you're doing by extracting some of the questions from the masses of the people, the average person should be the one asking these questions. These questions shouldn't be given to the candidates at all because we need honesty. We need a conversation just like this off from the rip. You understand what I'm saying? So we can get honesty. And a lot of times when you're talking to someone and they're looking you in the face, you know whether or not they're sincere and real. You understand what I'm saying? And if not, I think we should start having rock concerts, if y'all know what I mean. <laughs> and I definitely am going to invite you to be a part of the United We Stand Festival next summer. Not only rock, but hip-hop, all genres. It doesn't matter. So that'll be uh, next June, and I'll give you a date on that. We'd love to have you not only if you want to perform your music, but to also speak as well in greater detail. Can you plug any of your work that you've done? Um, let people know how to reach you online. Well, it, it's, it's very... Uh, critical that you should ask that simply because I wrote a book several years ago called The Psychological Covert War on Hip Hop um, and I wrote it on a level that an average 13, 14 year old can read it and grasp it and take some of the principles and make them, make them uh, applicable to their consciousness and um, I think that's what we need to start doing. We need to start speaking their language and on a level where they can understand so we can have some well informed uh, voters as I told We Are Change. Thank you so much, Kavan. You know, I actually haven't uh, voted myself. A lot of people can't believe this because I do believe, I believe the system's flawed. It was a big decision. You know, I felt that um, that I didn't want to be a part of corrupt system, and I feel that it's totally rigged. However, I do feel we're going to change that, and I will As hold it against woman, anyone in the future that doesn't vote. Uh, what's As that a now? Woman, do you catch flack for that? No. Well, as a, or as an as individual? A, as a black man, a lot of black people will say that your ancestors fought, bled, and died so that you can vote. Well, you didn't vote, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Because they didn't fought, fight, bleed, and die just for, for the corrupt people to come in and make the system more corrupt. Thank you. Thank you. And awesome. You're joining the Free and Equal Network. Thank you, Kavan, a.k.a. Right. Professor Griff. Love. Right. Looking forward to a great debate. All right. This is the situation, I'll make you understand My place in this world and how I'm living as a black man Striving to be somebody that can be respected Put on his own, with a gift, cause I'm elected by the G The O, this is DVD, like Dilma, R.D. Ball And I swear, you understand, hey, critical I know the subject is deep, but 434 years I can't repeat it, I teach you Of the global plan, designed and hacked About the man with the mark in his head, with the mark in his hand Now to the man on the board who has very little meaning Don't make any balls but you have to use your brain. Think about it. We're like pawns in the game. What we're gonna do right here is go.
solution is out in this soul. But now it's too late. You don't seal your face because the UBC is revealed. There's no escape. Revolution sweeping the entire 